The government ministry's briefings to acting President Huang Yuan continue this week. Today, six ministries, including education, health and welfare, environment and labor, are laying out their plans for the new year at the government complex in Sejong. Shin Zemin has the details. Korea's acting president and prime minister Hwang kyo wan has been briefed on the government's plans for improving people's lives in the coming year. The labor ministry said it plans to inject 2.1 billion U.S. dollars to address the high youth unemployment rate. That's an increase of 9.5 percent from last year. The ministry will also seek to expand a program for young Koreans looking for employment by increasing enrollment to 210,000 and offering consulting and training. In response, Prime Minister Huang said that labor reform is necessary to narrow the gap in quality between the jobs offered by large and mid-sized companies. Korea's health ministry pledged to tackle the country's low birth rates, starting with various incentives for companies to help them create a more friendly environment for newlyweds and workers who are pregnant. The ministry will also offer greater support for expectant couples in the low-income bracket by providing them with a subsidy of just over $1,600 a year. The ministry also vowed to build 410 new state-run daycare centers. Since I mean, Arirang News.